Hi everybody, um, just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys the new feature for this week which is the Monaco editor. Um, we are now sunsetting the ACE editor in favor of Monaco editor. Um, we're going to be getting a lot of some um, really cool powerful um, um, advantages with the Monaco editor as far as services and, and IntelliSense, syntax highlighting. Um, so, without further ado, let me just kind of show you what I mean by that. So, I'm going to load um, a JavaScript file. Here, um, I now get IntelliSense. So, if I do um, HTTP dot, um, it just, it, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. The other thing um, is that this engine builds a, um, an AST of your code. So, if I want to, I could say, um, go to definition brings me to that definition. If I want to say find all refer uh, references, gives me a nice preview. Uh, this is just gorgeous. Um, I'm super excited about this. Uh, you still get the best um, within the editor uh, preview so that you can um, um, look at your code as you as you save and do changes. Uh, the same thing applies with HTML uh, with our editors swapping back and forth. Um, as well as, uh, let's say, CSS or, or anything else, JSON, whatever, it doesn't matter. It, it um, picks the, um, uh, based on my time, picks the correct uh, language, and um, you're out to, out to the gap. So that's really awesome. Um, not only is it within projects, but um, also, um, say, for example, I have two editors here in the templates. So if I do, like, a phone card, um, you'll see that I have uh, my um, HTML, where I could do a quick modification, one, two, three. As soon as I tab over, it's updating, showing the, the real preview. Um, looking at JSON here, switch back to the HTML, um, correct that. So it's um, just something that I've been really excited about. Uh, I think it's going to be an awesome addition to what we already have um, as far as capabilities uh, within Front Creator. The uh, Monaco editor is just uh, super powerful and, and I'm super excited to bring it in. Um, so look forward to hearing some feedback and what you guys think. Um, this will be part of the um, um, the next release. Um, so, so look out for that so that you guys can start playing with it.